How do I create or modify HTML newsletter templates in Listserv? Listserv 17.0 comes with a template library of more than 75 responsive HTML newsletter templates offering a variety of layout styles and color schemes that you can use as is or modify as needed. The templates are divided into announcement templates and newsletter templates. Announcement templates are simpler and contain just a single one column content block. Newsletter templates are more elaborate and contain a combination of multiple content blocks and layout styles. To create or modify HTML newsletter templates to fit your needs, either click on newsletter templates under the site administration menu which makes the new templates available for use on all lists on the site or on newsletter templates under the list management menu which restricts them to a single list only. To modify an existing template, locate one that you want to use and click on the thumbnail. Normally you would select one where you either like the layout or one where you like the color scheme. Next, either click the Edit button to modify the template directly or the Copy button to create a copy of the template that you can modify. You can also create a template from scratch by clicking on the Create button. Then enter a new name and description for your modified template. The template library uses the End prefix to automatically place templates under the Newsletter Template category and the A prefix to automatically place them under the Announcement Template category. But this isn't a requirement. The first thing that you'll notice is that there are several menus at the top of the screen. To start, click on Base Font. This menu contains options to change things like font family, size, text color, link color, and link styling that apply to all sections of the newsletter. Make any modifications here first. To update a single setting, click on the Update button next to that setting. Otherwise, click on Update All to update all of them. The Newsletter menu contains settings that control the width and the alignment of the newsletter. The border background color, and a background image if you prefer to use one. To use a background image, enter the full URL pointing to that image and choose how it should be repeated. The rest of the menus are section specific. The pre-header menu deals with a section above the header. You can choose whether to include a placeholder for a pre-header sentence, as well as a view and browser link or omit them. Many email clients display the first sentence from the newsletter right below the subject line, so pre-headers allow you to elaborate on the content of the newsletter beyond just the subject line and entice subscribers to open it. The header section deals with the top banner and allows you to insert the name of the newsletter as well as a custom logo. You can also use an entirely graphical top banner if you prefer. The footer section contains the same options except for the bottom banner. Each section contains the option to include a top and bottom separator. These allow you to include either a thin line above and below the section, or you can simply use it for styling purposes, which is how it's being used on this template. The Table of Contents section enables you to include an automatically generated table of contents with links to each item in the newsletter. Simply use the pull-down menu to decide whether to include one. The Table of Contents can be placed right below the top banner or in the sidebar if the newsletter has been configured with one. The three menus labeled Block 1, 2, and 3 is where you control the layout of the main content area. 
You can include three types of content blocks with each newsletter template. Block 1 is required for all newsletters, while Block 2 and 3 are optional. Each content block is independently repeatable as many times as you want when you send individual newsletters, so there is never any need to create and include identical content blocks. Instead, Block 2 and 3 should only be used if you want to create a newsletter with different layout styles. For example, a one-column design in the beginning and a three-column design below. Use the pull-down menu labeled Block Type to select the layout that you want to use. There are many options. You can do a one-column layout with a large centered image or a smaller floating image either on the left or the right side. You can also do a two-column layout that is either 50-50 or 40-60. There is also a sidebar option where the two columns are divided 33-67 and a three-column option. All layout styles are fully responsive, which means that the layout will adapt and change on smaller viewports like mobile devices. You also have full control over the headline, text, and link styles. Links can either be regular hyperlinks or in a more eye-catching button format. To create button style links, use the background color box to enter the color of the button and choose how much padding you would like around the button and whether to use rounded corners. To create boxed content blocks, Use the inner background, inner padding, and inner border radius text boxes, and enter your desired values. Things like an unsubscribe link, contact, and legal details can be placed either at the end of a newsletter or in the footer. Use the pull-down menus to choose where to include them. Finally, the text menu allows you to change the text strings used for recurring things like the view in browser prompt, unsubscribe prompt, and read more prompt. All of the HTML and placeholders are generated by the system, so there is no need to tinker with any code. A plain text alternative is created automatically. When you're done with your modified template and you're ready to send your newsletter, go to the list your homepage and click on the name of the list where you want to send it. Then use the side menu and click on Send Newsletter. Locate your modified template, either among the thumbnails or use the pull-down menu to select it, followed by Next. Now you can choose how many times each content box should repeat depending on how many different news items you have. To insert your content, just click on the placeholder name. A modal window opens where you can type or paste your content, images, and links. If you don't want to use a certain placeholder, you can simply ignore it and leave it blank. The Show Placeholders link in the top left corner will show you all of the placeholders in the template and whether they have been filled out or omitted.
to preview what the final newsletter looks like, click on the preview link in the top right corner. Before distribution, you can fine tune the newsletter with an HTML editor. You can also send test messages to yourself and your colleagues to make sure that everything looks as expected. Finally, you can choose whether to deliver the newsletter right away or schedule the delivery at a future date and time. Thank you for watching.